Howdy folks, Hillbilly here. We're back out here again for another uh, short adventure. Just out for a day hike today. Happened to have a kind of a random day off of work, so I figured I'd come out here and get a little bit of walking in. Uh, we're back here in Shenandoah National Park, which is kind of my neck of the woods. Uh, I don't live very far from Shenandoah. Uh, we're here to do uh, the White Oak Canyon Cedar Run Loop. Uh, all the way up to uh, the summit of Hawkbill. So basically we're going to walk up Cedar Run Canyon uh, to the summit of Hawkbill Mountain and then come back down the White Oak Canyon Trail back to this very parking lot. Uh, we've got OSHA with us again today. Remember OSHA from the Pennsylvania video? He's back out with us again. So Got, uh, I think it's like 10.7 miles, I believe. Uh, about 3,000 feet of elevation gain up to the top of Hawkbills. So that would be a good climb. Good to keep our legs ready, keep our legs uh, loose for the bigger hikes that we still like to do. But anyway, folks, here we are. It's supposed to be a real nice day. Let's go have some fun. Get here to the, uh, the lowest falls of Cedar Run. Kind of trees in the way there, but yeah, pretty nice little spot. First crossing of Cedar Run Creek here. Right on. Cedar Run Canyon, very, very beautiful place. Especially a non-stop waterfall all the way up the mountain. Today is a gorgeous, gorgeous day today. It only took about a half a mile before I shed all my layers. Probably gonna get up to about 70 today, even though it started this morning around 35. But anyway, we're about to cross this creek right here again. And keep on going up. As nice as this trail is, it's, it's pretty rocky and pretty steep. So it's definitely a good one to, to keep our legs good and fresh and loose and, and not let our legs get dormant. Anyway, let's keep on climbing. Up here to Skyline Drive and cross over it and uh, start climbing up Hawkbill. I think it's a little less than a mile from here up to the summit of Hawkbill, if I remember correctly. But it's been many years since I climbed Hawkbill, so I don't know. We'll find out here in just a second. Oh man, yeah, Hawkbill's the tallest peak in the park, it's 4,050 feet. I was just on the second tallest peak in the park at 4,010 feet, Stony Man Mountain. Just a couple of weeks ago, I took my son up there. Had a good old time. Let's see what our mileage is. Hulkbill Summit via the AT. We're not going that way, we're going this way. Hulkbill Summit, nine tenths. All right, nine tenths to the top. Should be a pretty stunning view up there. Oh, 
All right, up here at the summit of Hawksbill Mountain. Tallest peak in Shenandoah at 4,050 feet. A lot of folks up here today. It is a beautiful day out. Right over there is Stony Man Mountain. Second tallest. Looking toward the north up there. Anyway, I didn't realize it until I pulled up my Peak Finder app. Way, way back there in the back is actually the Dolly Sods, that very last ridge you could see back there. That's the Allegheny front where the Dolly Sods are located. Very cool. So we're done with our climb. We sat here and had a good lunch. So uh, that's all back downhill from here. We're going to head back down the other side of Hawkbill. Get on the AT for a little bit and then work our way over toward White Oak Canyon. We're just on the other side of Stony Man. We did our hike. Down. Started way down there in the valley. Hiked up to the ridge there. Back down to the other side of the valley. All right, folks, just come down from the summit of Hawkbill. Hawksbill, Hawkbill. I'm not sure whether it's plural or singular. Anyway, uh, we came down the Salamander Trail on the backside of Hawkbill and gotten down here to the AT. We're going to be on the AT for, uh, I think, a little over a mile. And, uh, yeah, so again, I'm back on some of the uh, very first section I ever did of the AT was was through here I think this was part of my second day on trail but anyway yep it's pretty crowded back on top of Hawkbill so we're probably gonna go down here a little ways somewhere and find a nice little quiet spot to hang out for a little bit and then work our way over to White Oak Canyon All right, folks, we're back down here to Skyline Drive again, where we started our climb up Hawkbill. We actually started it uh, right there behind us. So we've come back around to this part of the loop, back down to the Cedar Run Trailhead here on Skyline Drive. Something in my boot. Now we're getting ready to jump on the uh, big the Skyland Big Meadows Horse Trail, I think it's called. And that's going to run us over to uh, White Oak Canyon Trail to, to go back down the mountain and back to the car. All right, folks, just getting down here to White Oak Canyon. We're at the uh, top of the Upper Falls. A little cascade that comes down right there. The Upper Falls actually drop off right over here. We're going to go to the other side to have a look at them got some horseback riders here that's pretty sweet but yeah let's cross over and uh, go have a look at the upper falls the upper falls of White Oak Canyon eighty six feet Another series of falls here coming down White Oak Canyon. Coming down the canyon here and got to this nice overlook looking out of the 
out of the canyon. Really beautiful. It's been an awesome day. Gorgeous. We've only got, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half or so left in our hike. We're getting toward the end, but just thought I'd stop and look at this really nice view here. Lower Falls of White Oak Canyon. Our final set. Alright folks, just getting back down here to the Cedar Run Trail where it meets up with the White Oak Canyon Trail here. So we've come, come full circle. Just uh, right over here to the parking lot, two tenths of a mile. Alright folks, here we are, end of the line. Back down here to the White Oak Canyon parking lot. Uh, it's an awesome day, folks. Had great weather. Good trails, lots of stuff to see. Took a couple nice, uh, nice long, well-deserved breaks. So we had a 3,000-foot climb today to start our day off. 3,000 feet in about four miles. So a pretty good climb. Anyway, folks, I'm glad you come along with us on this little spontaneous adventure that we drew up at the last minute. I said normally today I'd be working, but had a random day off today, so we come out and played in the mountains a little bit. Anyway, folks, I got another uh, hike coming up here in a couple more weeks, so I uh, hope to keep your eyes open for that. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Hillbilly Hikes. We'll see you on the next one.